Let's review a character I know nothing about. How's it going, everybody? Mike here from Kapowcast, back with another Marvel Legends action figure review. Today, we are taking a look at Uncanny X-Force Deathlock. This is a repaint of the previous Deathlock, just in gray and black, to go with your X-Force Wolverine. Uh, who else have they done? Deadpool. Uh... X-23, and I'm sure I'm forgetting some, but here we have them in a nice package here on Kenny X-Force right there. It says Deathlock. You got a blue X logo on the top there, a nice image on the side, and a good image of the figure right there. That's a nice product shot right there. Same image on that side and on the bottom. So let's get this guy open because he's got some big guns. So as I said, Deathlock does come with some weapons. First of all, we have this gun here. Very familiar with this gun. Uh, I am familiar with it with the Bishop figure. That's how I know it, but I'm sure you all know it from other figures, like the previous Deathlock figure. Uh, he also has this little gun here, which is pretty nice. I like the color of these weapons. They're not like a weird gold or white or, or something ridiculous like that. They don't look like squirt guns. They look like actual weapons. And he also got, uh, on this one, this nice red on the scope here. So that's actually pretty cool. I'd like that. So that's very nice. And we also have this heavy-duty machine gun right here, which he also comes with these bullets, which these are a weird color. They're like a translucent uh, yellow, which is pretty weird, if you ask me. Uh, but you should be able to feed him in one of these ways. And, uh, yeah. He'll be all armed up and ready to go. And here's Deathlock out of the package. He's pretty cool. I, I like it. You got the nice silver paint on the arms and legs there. Looking very good. Very clean work here on the front for the most part. Oh, and that ports out every now and then. I uh, will just leave it for right now. But it looks pretty cool. Nice backpack. Look at that face. That's really nice right there. Really digging that. Let me try to put that back in. There we go. Got the belt. You got the holster on the side here, which you can plug this gun in, I am going to assume. Perfect. You got the shoulder pads here, this backpack here, which is removable if you so choose, but uh, why would you do that? It looks so much cooler with it. Backpacks make everything cool. Just ask the Ghostbusters. But yeah, he's, he's an alright looking figure. Uh, not my cup of tea, really. Uh, I'm not into the uncanny X-Force stuff, but this guy does look pretty cool. Okay, so articulation for Deathlock is as follows. Head on a ball joint, goes side to side. These shoulder pads hinder a little bit. Can go up just a smidge, can go down just a smidge, so not too much there. Arms go up that far. They can go total 360 if you take this back uh, backpack off. Uh, he has a swivel up here at the bicep. He has double jointed elbows. He has a wrist swivel and hinge. He also has a diaphragm joint, so he can bend down that much. He can bend back just a little bit. Once again, probably do more with the backpack off. He has a waist swivel. He can do the splits pretty darn well. Uh, he can put his foot up that far. He can go back about that much. He has an upper thigh cut, which is hidden very well. Uh, just due to, due to costume design. Uh, he also has a double jointed knee. He has a boot swivel, hinge, and pivot. So articulation for him is pretty good. Uh, the only thing I've really noticed is he does have a very hard time standing. I'm not sure if that's just a thing with the figure or just this figure in particular, but his ankles seem very weak and it's very hard to get him to stand, but I did get him in some pretty good poses. So he is very fun to pose in that front. He holds his guns very well. Uh, the only thing I'm not too sure about is uh, this thing here. I... I wasn't sure if I was loading it right because I thought it was supposed to come through the other side, and I saw pictures where it was coming through the other side. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm missing something, but it doesn't look like it's going to go through. Once I, I push it through either side, it's just kind of there, so I don't know if, you know, the, the pictures are wrong, if there was just a defect or what, but this does not go through all the way, so that's kind of lame. So here he is next to some old-school X-Force people. We have him next to Shatterstar and Cable. Once again, Cable towering over everybody. Here he is next to the great pair of Deadpool and Hitmonkey. And here he is next to Skullbuster, which uh, he has the same gun as, uh, where it is? This one, but it's a stupid color and it doesn't have the red scope. Uh, but yes, these two do share the exact same body mold in case you didn't know. So uh, if, if you have this guy, then it's pretty much the same thing and vice versa. So that about does it for the review of this guy. All in all, not a must get. If you have the previous one, that's fine. You're not missing out on anything but different paint. Uh, the only really reason to get this guy is if you are wanting to complete your gray and black Uncanny X-Force team. Other than that, I really don't see any point in getting him if you have the previous one because it's 
probably just as good. And I mean, this guy is pretty good. I do like him a lot. If you like this video and you want to see more, go ahead, click that thumbs up, give us a like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification to get notified of every time you post content on this channel. Until next time, take care.